Hey guys, so if you have one of these Smart Things hubs, you want to set it to do manual updates unless you need automatic updates. I'm going to show you how to do that. There's two reasons why. The number one reason I would say it can get kind of frustrating if I have it on automatic updates. The device is reboot and sometimes I come home and some of my lights are on. So this is for any of those um, Smart Things owners out there that want to figure out how in the app to turn off the automatic updates so it's set to manual updates and what happens is usually you get a notification or something in the app that tells you this device needs to be updated. So um, here's how to do it. Thanks for watching. This is kind of important because if you're trying to update or fix your automatic updates for smart things, this is how you do it in the app. So in the smart things app, you hit the little menu in the top right. You see where it says manage hubs. We're going to select that in here. It's got basically another little menu up in the top right. We're not going to worry about that. We're actually going to hit the home hub. Okay. And then we're going to hit the menu up in the top right. Now you see the settings there. We're going to hit those. And then this is how you, you change it from automatic to manual. This is important. Why? Um, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, when you have automatic updates, there's two things that I worry about here. One is because they'll reboot the device. So sometimes when you see your smart things lights on, when you get home and they're like a different color, either your power went out, a GCFI or a switch, like a circuit tripped or um, basically uh, the actual device reset after it had updated and I don't like that that's what happens with these because sometimes parts of your house stay lit when you're not at home so I hope this video helps other people and that's how I changed it from automatic to manual and honestly I had it at manual for years and I changed it back to automatic and I started having issues the other reason is because Everybody knows now that software acts like hardware and all of these companies either discontinue, stop supporting, or stop releasing security updates for these products. So that being said, if you have an old product or a product's not supported anymore that's tied to a SmartThings hub, but the product itself is not being supported anymore, that could be a problem at some point. And if it does do an automatic update on its own and your light doesn't work anymore or it bricks it, and you're not at home and you can't actually do something about it, it's just easier to do the manual updates. So I recommend manual updates, setting your SmartThings hub to do manual updates, and then when you're in the app, you just update the devices manually, okay? So that way you can keep an eye out if there's any press releases or anything that says, hey, don't do this update for this Philips Hue bulb or whatever, I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but it's nice to know because honestly, anybody that's updated a product and had it stop working, you know how frustrating that can be. So thank you for watching. Take care. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, all that beautiful stuff. Also, always consult a smart home professional when you are catering to your smart home needs. I am not a professional. This is just a DIY hobby channel, and these are my opinions expressed in this video. But I do appreciate your time and support. Thank you so much. Have a great night.